Okay, big day today here in Temperance, Michigan. We're at a uh, company called Belker, right on the, uh, the Toledo, Ohio border. We all made it in today, it's plenty snowy. I got a cold, so, but today's gonna be a big day with the tracker because we're gonna do some repeatability studies on these fenders and on the hood. So this fixture actually rotates into a position and then a robotic application comes in and starts to machine some of these features. So what these guys would like is, we, we would like to know how repeatable these parts are going into place. So what we're gonna do is place repeatability targets on the fender and the hood, and uh, we're gonna test those for repeatability. But with this video, what I wanna show you guys was how to do a three-sphere alignment. I've got three spheres on the fixture here, here, and here, and I've already measured those, so I wanna show you guys how we can do a three-sphere alignment. Actually, it's called center point alignment and how we can get into the CAD model alignment. So jump into Polyworks with me, I've got that live. And you can see in my model, I've got the spheres measured, but the points are in space. So what I want to do is show you guys how to take that location and model and put it uh, into the model, okay? So hang tight, let's jump into Polyworks a second. First, let me place the SMR ever so slightly there. Okay. Now, take a look at this. Notice I've got my three spheres down here. They're out in space. They're not relative to the fixture at all. I've already model prepped those. Or I've picked them from my screen in the CAD model. So now what I want to do is I want to make the measured data align to the CAD model. If I zoom in a little bit, here is that tooling sphere one, or the upper right tooling sphere. And then my other one is here you can kind of see it and here is the third okay very simple to align to that model what I end up doing is I can highlight all three of these tooling spheres in the model tree and then I run up to the align menu feature based center points now notice when I click on that center point alignment these these uh, values for source and destination auto populate so I've got upper right tooling sphere here, upper left, and lower left. Now what this is going to do is it's going to best fit those three spheres, okay? So it's going to take all three of those locations and it's going to best fit until each one is as good as that can be. If you need to, uh, to align it to where you've got one of the spheres being an origin, maybe all three will solve for the plane, two will solve for an axis and one solves for an origin, that's a completely different alignment. So be sure to watch the alignment, um, the video for um, reference point alignment for that one, okay? But this is truly just the best fit of these three spheres uh, from the measured data to the model. So what I've got here then is those three sources have a destination and as soon as I hit align, notice what happens. I'll hit done here and zoom out just a little bit. Those three that were around in this location now, those three spheres, have actually jumped to the model. And here is their annotation for their output. Now this client's got a plus or minus 10 thou variation on its, uh, or deviation on its locations. And you can see that all three of those have passed that criteria. So now truly, I'm in the measurement model. Um, I'm aligned, the tracker knows exactly where the rest of this, uh, uh, the rest of these features are. So we're gonna start placing repeatability targets here on all of these spots, and we're gonna measure this fixture for repeatability. 